Welcome back viewers to Unlist of Legends list and today we're going to be listing the top 8 great Spongebob Squarepants specials. Since Spongebob has been on since 1999, there has been a lot of specials up until this point with some being amazing and some just being plain awful. So let's dive into this list shall we? Before we begin, make sure to click that like and subscribe button so I know you like my content. Without further options, let's begin. Starting our list off at the number 1 spot, we have Atlantis Scorpantis, and this is a special that a lot of fans did not like, but honestly I like the special a lot. Yeah, I'll admit the special starts off pretty slow, but it gets a lot better, especially when they arrive to Atlantis. The reason why I like Atlantis Scorpantis a lot is because it got all the main Spongebob characters together for a journey to find Atlantis. Another reason is seeing our number 1 Spongebob fan, Patchy the Pirate, when Patchy discovers Encino has disappeared. We also get to see Plankton in the special as he tries to use and seal the Atlanteans technology. Each character has their own amount of screen time, since each character has their own needs on what they want to do in Atlantis, with Mr. Krabs wanting to see their treasure, Sandy wanting to see their science technology, Squidward wanting to see their art, and Spongebob and Patrick wanting to see the world's oldest bubble. Overall, while I'll admit it starts off slow and the time management isn't great between Spongebob and Patchy, I still think Atlantis Square Pantis was a good special and had a nice plot. At our number 2 spot, I chose Hello Bikini Bottom, and this special focuses on Spongebob and Squidward. The two discover how great their music goes together, and they even get hired by a big music producer. We get to see them going all around the Bikini Bottom, performing, but only in places that don't quite fit with their music, such as a grocery store and a nursing home. From beginning to end, this special had a really nice pace to it, and the duet at the end was nothing short of magnificent. At our third spot on our list, we have Uh or Spongebob BC before comedy. This episode takes us to the prehistoric era where our characters are living like cavemen and prehistoric versions of their houses. Patrick's house obviously not changing much at all since his house is well, a rock. The dialogue itself I find pretty funny since it's like the cliche caveman talk of groaning noises since they don't know how to talk. We also get to see Patchy again and he's also acting as a caveman for the special but with actual words. Patchy shows us how dinosaurs rule the earth and how cavemen lived their lives, while Spongegar and Patar discover fire and how to blow bubbles. Overall, Spongebob BC is one of those episodes where they take old time legends and create their own version of it. While it's not the most memorable Spongebob special, it's certainly one of my old time favorites. Hitting our halfway point on the list is Dunson and Dragons. This is a Spongebob and Patrick episode, so that's cool. In this episode special, Spongebob and Patrick are sent back in time, but to the medieval times where we come face to face with our favorite character's ancestors. The amount of good jokes in this episode was off the charts good, especially the giant jellyfish acting as a dragon, which is pretty clever stuff. What's really funny is just how much the writers managed to take a generic plot of medieval times and the so-called prophecy into something hilariously good. The prophecy being Spongebob and Patrick have to save the princess, the princess being Pearl from the evil wizard, of course the evil wizard being Plankton, so each role of ancestors fits our characters perfectly. Dunces and Dragons one of those classic episode specials where you can always sit down and have a good time watching it again and again. Number 5 we have Friend or Foe. In this special we get to see the backstory of Plankton and Mr. Krabs. We learned that they actually used to be really good friends and shared a bond of wanting to open a restaurant. It's also a really nice plot twist since we know the show followed the same formula of Plankton wanting to steal the Krabby Patty formula. Seeing the relationship between the two back then felt very heartwarming and charming, especially when they both have each other's back against the other kids. Soon after we learned they both had different mindsets on the formula, which then led to their rivalry. Plankton went in his own direction of making chum, while Mr. Krabs stick with his own Krabby Patty. Obviously we know in the end which food the customers preferred, and that's when Plankton swore vengeance on Mr. Krabs to steal the Krabby Patty formula. Friend or Foe had some real emotion to it and is a really good example of a great Spongebob special. Number 6 I chose It's a Spongebob Christmas, and this special is actually different from most because it was the first Spongebob special episode to show stop motion and that was really incredible to watch. The special kicks off by showing the citizens of the Bikini Bottom getting ready for the holidays, even Plankton. Except, as usual, he's up to an evil plan, which is to ruin Christmas for everyone by adding a chemical called Tractonium, which makes everyone in the Bikini Bottom not nice. The only person who isn't affected by this is Spongebob, and it's up for him to save Christmas. Since Spongebob isn't affected by Jertonium, Plankton has to make a robot imposter of Spongebob to go around the Bikini Bottom causing chaos, and that was really interesting to see. The ending with Spongebob singing his song Don't Be a Jerk was very good and entertaining. Definitely one of the show's best songs for sure. 
Nearing the end of our list, I have yet another Christmas special, that being the classic Christmas special, Christmas Who. This one just feels more classic, and it's actually Patchy the Pirate's first appearance in the series. We even learn that Akini Bottom doesn't even know what Christmas is, and we get to see what it means to each character. Hearing Christmas Who's song the very first Christmas to me is very catchy, and really gets you into the holiday spirit. But what really makes me love this special is just seeing Squidward go from a complete Scrooge to a total Santa. At first, he wants nothing to do with Spongebob and his Christmas activities, but when Santa doesn't arrive, Squidward grows a heart and dresses up as Santa to cheer Spongebob and the town up. He literally gives away everything he owns to everyone in the Bikini Bottom. It really captures the true meaning of Christmas and gives you this nice, heartwarming feeling. It also goes down as one of Squidward's best moments on the entire show. At our great number 8 spot, we have Have You Seen This Snail? Let me start off by saying this special is easily the most emotional Spongebob episode out of the entire series. The amount of tears I have for this episode is just downright depressing. Have You Seen This Snail starts out with Spongebob spending too much time with his Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy Paddle Ball set, and makes him forget to feed Gary, which then leads to Gary feeling neglected and makes him run away from home. Spongebob and Patrick then go all over town looking for him, all while we see Gary's life as a runaway. All during this time, we see how much Gary means to Spongebob, and they show it in the most saddest song I've ever heard. Gary Comes Home is enough to make anyone feel depressed. I mean, the entire episode is nothing short of a deep dive into other sadness when we see Spongebob and Gary apart. When we finally see the two reunite in the end, it seems like nothing but a light at the end of the tunnel. This is my favorite Spongebob special just because of the lengths they went to show us how much Gary means to Spongebob. If the song Gary Comes Home wasn't enough to prove that, I honestly don't know what would. Alright viewers, that is the end of our list. Let me know what list you'd like to see next. With all that said, I look forward to seeing you with our next list.